Workplace. I'm Mary Beth Nave. And again, happy 2015 to all of you. Um, hopefully, it is a happier, uh, happier year. It's going to be a more abundant and significant year for everyone. And basically, you do have the control. You have a choice as to how to make your life a better one this year. So, of course, we've invited one of our most in-demand resource personalities and speakers in the show. In fact, she uh, came by... Um, popular request we invited her back so again she's uh, an amazing mom and and also a wife to a loving husband um, she has three beautiful kids and basically you know she's one of these really go-to yoga teachers in urban ashram manila um, and also she's the founder of uh, gift solutions and also consultant to col financial so ladies and gentlemen please welcome back to the workplace this is margar holopainan hi margar hi hello hi <laughs> you know it's always great to start off the year with amazing guests who inspire not just you know because they know what to say, but they really say things based from their own personal stories yes. and uh, continue to inspire a lot. So thank you for being one of those. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, okay, um, a while ago you did mention about um, choosing the path of least harm. Yes, yes, Especially yes. if you want to deal with anger, you know, your, your anger. So what do you mean by that? Like choosing the path of least harm? Um, it's, it's really a guideline. It's, it's really a... Um, it's uh, well guideline it sounds so rule rule like but um it's not easy because um the choices that are available to you are choices that that are that are that you make for yourself so you can widen the choices so in a, in for example when you're upset or you're you're angry or you're you need to do something about the situation you do have choices and that's when we said that breathe the breathing it's just so natural right but if you stop and pause there's this even millisecond between reaction and response right. that your ability for awareness to set in and say that in the myriad of choices given of reactions, what is it I'm going to choose? And that's what separates, I suppose, man from animals mm -hmm. is that ability to respond rather than react. Right. You know, like if you frighten a dog, they could either run away or they could just fight back, right? right? But as a person, you have a choice. We hopefully not get to the reaction <laughs> point, you know? Which yeah. People um, tend to do, they tend to it's react. It's really that yeah. millisecond of <laughs> breath that you stop and think, okay. I will not attack this person. <laughs> I will choose the path of least arm. And right. sometimes it just means being quiet. And sometimes it just means being kind. So <laughs> Even if you don't want to be. <laughs> even if initially you don't so. want to be. Ultimately, everyone's good. It's just that you react. So you have to find that space between reaction and response. And ideally, it's the response. And more often than not, that space already will give you that edge to choose definitely a better choice. Hence, that's why I guess when you say pause and breathe, um, do not make any, uh, what's this, uh, drastic decisions when you're very, very emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or else yeah, exactly. they, you guys might regret it later on. Yeah, <laughs> or, or you're, you, if you do, you, you have to be committed to live up to the consequences, consequences of, of your, your reaction. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. And, and so, of course, you mentioned about um, one of the, the good points about actual self-care is also being able to declutter, detoxify your life. And <laughs> part of it is, you know, um, again, it's a new year. We have a lot of new occasions upcoming, um, maybe birthday celebrations and whatnot. And the one thing that we don't want to do is keep on adding clutter to other people's lives yes. <laughs> um, or rooms because of the gifts that we give. And or, you know, because I'm sure when we receive things, oh, I already have this. I already yes, have this towel. Yes, yeah. I already have this, you know. Yeah. But you can never get enough of, like, gadgets. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what are, as, as um, again, a uh, managing director and, and, of course, having your own company of gift solutions, what are some of the tips um, that you could actually share with all of us on how to manage our 2015 better, especially in gift giving? Yeah, well, Gift Solutions has been around for 15 years, so there's so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Yeah. 16 years to date? Or? Uh, 16 years to date. It was started by my partner, Jay, okay. and I joined her two years later. So she's actually the founder. I, I, she, she's been a friend of mine, and she asked me to join her when I came back from Australia. And it, it's been a happy uh, partnership since. Um, it's been 15 years, and over the years, like you said, you add on to what you know. Right. And this year, I think one of the things that we reflected personally and I think professionally is that you know you do receive a lot of gifts right? and this because a lot of people care about you and people like you and people want you to to be grateful for for your relationship with them right. 
But one of the things that we advocate truly in Gift Solutions, and that's why I think we've lasted all these years, is our, is our philosophy that we really think about what you're giving. Um, you know, for example, if you're giving the CEO of a company, he must get so many gifts from so many people and from very important people. Right. But How do you compete with, like, let's say, uh, an overnight in the Bahamas, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe you can by giving him something to a, take a with him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to take with him. Right. I, I think what it is is um, I, I, I hope people spend a lot more time being thoughtful. It doesn't take a lot of time. Um, you know, understanding the relationship with the person and thinking about what is it that is the connection between you and me. And what the gift is really a symbol. It's really a symbol of that relationship. It's not about the price. It doesn't have to be about the price. Okay. It's about the thought. And, in, and it can even be simple about writing a card with a dedication that is unique, that is special to both of you, remembering a certain time or why that gift you think was important to that person. There's, there's that, that thoughtfulness. And then, of course, um, you know, people get a lot of gifts, so you have to think about what is it that will be useful? You want to be remembered by the gift. So what is it that can be useful to this person? And useful is, is different for each person. So of course, there's a universal usefulness. Like everyone has a mobile gadget that always run out of battery. Right, so right. a power bank would be great. But there's also unique gifts. Somebody who particularly collects certain things. Somebody who entertains a lot at home. And these are the things people know about each other depending on the relationship that you have. So. Right. Spend a bit of time thinking about who you're giving the gift to. What is it that they find valuable? What you think you add to that equation in that relationship? And then that's maybe you can zero in on the gift. It can even be as simple. Like the best gift I got for my husband this year was, like I told you, was yeah. a set of beautiful notebooks with my name and with so Embossed. much I went in with so much space in between to write. Right. So, you know, it's a notebook, you know, to anybody that would be so simple. But to me, it means a lot because right. he knows I will use it and I love nice notebooks. <laughs> oh. And it's so simple. So he, you know, the journey is to find the notebook that's appropriate for me. That's true. Which, which is what we do in Gift Solutions. So if you have the thought, we will find it for you. Oh, so basically, like, for example, um, especially for corporate gifts, and yeah. especially now because so many people are already organizing their seminars first quarter of yeah, the year yeah, already, yeah. and they're figuring out what to give, like speakers um, and, and their partners yeah, yeah. and all of that. So when you say organize a thought, they can just go to gift solutions and yeah. then just give you the personality of this person, and then you can give them options of what yeah. this person could actually find useful? Yes. Um, you know, we, we've pretty much um, streamlined the, the process for you. So if you go to our website on giftsolutions.ph, there's a contact form there, and there are questions already set that when we receive it, we will respond within 24 hours with a selection of goods. Wow. So, That's yeah, it's pretty, I mean, you know, once you, do it so, once you do it so regularly, the thought process is the same. The gifts just vary. So it's really having the whole breadth and depth of merchandise and selection and then finding the, per the appropriate gifts for it. So it's really a matching, matching type of thing. So yeah, that it's, pretty, it's pretty straightforward. The idea is you spend the time telling us what your ideas are. And we'll make sure that your execution is flawless, flawless and, and seamless. You know, this is amazing about like even your principle about uh, forming good habits <laughs> earlier on. Because um, again, and any any time you actually create a new habit, it takes time. The first day alone, yeah, yeah, yeah. like with me, especially when you mentioned about the notebooks, it took me one whole day to just figure out my first week of January <laughs> and like writing in like five different notebooks. It took me up practically the whole day. Then later on, once you get into the habit of yeah. writing, it it becomes less and less and less. Yeah, so yeah. now that you mentioned that um, so many people have had that concern and challenge about what do I give my loved one? What do I yeah, give yeah. my boss? What do I give my uh, co colleagues and all of that? It The, the challenge has been there for a, a, a long, long time and Gift yeah. Solutions has been there for 16 years yeah. today. And basically, you were able to streamline it into a good habit. And yeah. that's why now, like to help other people, it takes 24 hours to figure out what are the options for the gift. Yeah, yeah. I mean... That's the service we provide. I don't think we're a product company. I honestly think we're a, a gift solutions company. We're true to our name. Um, but to, to qualify that really, it, the challenge is really on an institutional level. How can a big, big company still be personal? How can a big company who will give a 1,000 people still be able to relate and translate that? 
Um, it's never, it's never going to be the same as one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. I mean, I think that's one of the things you have to accept. But you're also an institution. You're large. You're larger than, than one. Right. And you represent everyone in that institution, not just the boss. So our thinking is a little bit different in that sense. We think for you as an institution, as a business, what is your business goal? And still try to make that personal on the delivery of the merchandise or the gifts on how it's packaged, how the literature is written, mm -hmm. how well thought out even coming up with a gift. Because we have, we have clients who want these huge gifts. But you know, physically delivering these gifts a is impossible. a challenge, and the cost of the the cost of the delivery may be more than the actual gift. gift right. So there's also the portability. There's a lot of factors. Have to them consider. pick it up. <laughs> have yeah, that. Have yeah. the receiver pick it up. Okay, pick up your gift. That. Yeah, but um, you know, you wouldn't want to. Yeah, do that. But people forget that. You know, like traveling. Mm -hmm. Getting to the destination is part of the travel. Right. You know what I mean? Getting from the car to the airport to the airport to the check-in that's part of the experience of the travel you're just hoping you're bracing yourself till you get to that beautiful beach right but right. technically that should be really part of the process in the same way that what that's what we're trying to do with gifting the result is the gift but the journey to get it, that gift right. and how it gets to you is hopefully something of value that we deliver that's what we come in to do to make it joyful <laughs> wow. And yeah, yeah it, because I, I, I remember I visited your office just to check out all the stuff. There's a lot of new things on a, on, a, on a yearly basis. Things that, you know, they're like two umbrellas in one go. I mean, it, it's <laughs> like you, you get you receive a, a big umbrella that, that's good for probably three or four people, but you double that capacity <laughs> and you stick like two umbrellas in one and now it's like good for eight people. <laughs> so, you know, all of these ideas are just amazing. So um, we also have questions from our viewers and they want to find out if you also can customize certain gifts like they have an idea if you can make a certain type of gift and yeah. product is gift solutions open to that too yeah as much as possible we try to we try to come up with something unique um, there's always this thin line between unique like novelty and something that's very useful we're trying to manage the attractiveness of a gift with the relevance of the gift mm -hmm. so the, I think what it is is we will we want to make sure that we we are honest with you into what we believe will work I mean, ultimately, the feedback will go back to you and it goes back to us in the month. So, right. so it, it's always this repartee. It's always a conversation between the recipient, the gift giver, and us. So it, it's, it's an interesting, quiet conversation that we have amongst, you know, the, that's why we work with partners. The clients we've had s from 15 years ago continue to be our clients till today. And even if they start small, we started small. I mean, we're still small. That's how we operate. It, and that's that's how it is. It's it's thinking on a personal level, and hopefully we can continue to that. And that's a challenge as you continue to grow as an enterprise, is to keep that kind of culture and relationship going, from the fundamental level of the philosophy. Why is it we were set up in the first place? What is it that we bring value to the customer? And that's what we continue to remind ourselves each and every year. Like you said in the beginning of the year, what do you do? Same for an institution. You really re rethink your vision. What is it? Why are you here? What can you do better? And, and what shouldn't you do again? So it's the same even for a company, just in a different scale, because you have so many people working with you who you kind of have to inculcate so the same. <laughs> well, it's, it's so many, uh, it's same culture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're only as strong as, as the weakest, the weakest link. link. And the idea is to get the weakest to be as strong as the strongest. So that, um, you know, the. Uh, that, that philosophy of gestalt where individual parts, when put together, the sum of it is larger than the sum of individual parts. So, I mean, I think the power of a community is just amazing if you really just have a united vision. And that's what hopefully continues to happen with Gift Solutions and all the other companies that I work with. Gosh, see, that, that's just amazing how you're able to manage your time and, and still provide quality in, in everything. Yeah. So, again, for those of you who are interested and you want to already um, schedule and organize your gift giving this year, yeah. um, your, again, website, which they can visit Yeah, it's giftsolutions.ph. So, it's pretty straightforward. There's an online form. Our catalog is online. Um, and we have an office, a uh, showroom in Pasig that if you just simply email, you can set an appointment and, and come over and see all our stuff there. Wow. Yeah. So it, there's already a catalog online, but if they want to check out the actual stuff, they can just also visit Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's really different when you touch and feel. I mean, you know, photos, 
like anything can be good or bad for you. It just gives you an idea of what it is. And, and as much as possible, we try to explain it. But there's really something to be said. I mean, your recipients are going to touch and feel that. Oh, you want to yeah. know what it feels like, too. Oh, I remember I spent so long, like about an hour in their office. I was just fiddling around with everything. <laughs> so <laughs> with that, ladies and gentlemen, um, we'll take another quick break. Like in life, don't forget to take breaks. Um, and uh, when we come back, we will talk about Urban Astro Manila. So again, we are still on the topic, self-care is the new healthcare. If you want to get into something physical and, of course, um, yet not highly stressful, again, please do check out our last segment, which is going to be about Urban Astro Manila. So stay tuned.